the um, arm of updates. Oh, it's ready. Somehow. And I'm also. Uh, oh, do I no, share I don't. This? <laughs> no, I don't already have it. I'm sharing my screen via uh, stream, so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay. and then follow along on your on your own. You said <clears> it was uh, in the S shop. Yep, S3. Oh, uh, I can put it here as well. Oh, my bad. No, I'll just go to S3. Where well, that works too. Oh, that's the stream. I think I can. Yep, there you go. Discord attachment link. <clears throat> I was say you could use um Discord streaming. Does not yeah, having a good time true. with it. Oh, you're not. Nope. Oh rip. In what sense? Um, it was constantly flashing to black when I was uh, doing S4 stuff with Westgate. Okay, so it's literally yours and not just okay. I wanted to make sure it was just yours and not some other BS. Hmm. Ooh, that feel when I moved Arma entirely into my E drive. Did you get into SSD? SSD? Yes. Nice. I got a one terabyte SSD, put Star Citizen, Arma, DCS, um, and Rising Storm 2 on it. I mean, I still run Night Sleep with Rising Storm 2. I'm sorry? On the right. Or I'm rather, right. I'm, I meant um, Vietnam. Vietnam, yeah. I mean, uh, the, that's me. not, that, that does, that's not, that does not have any issues with me. I'm using a disc. Well, but then again, I'm using the, the Optane. That also works. Okay, so supposedly I'm at ultra low latency, but it's still like 15 to 20 seconds delay. Uh, I don't understand why I'm not getting my mission. <clears throat> oh, right, because I'm... Did you put it into your documents? Uh, I put it into the mission, MP missions folder. Uh... Put it in missions folder. Oh, just regular missions? Okay. Yes. Uh, I mean, it doesn't... You can find them in both places. You have to unzip it. Right, it I did. It. Okay. Give me just one moment and I will have this fixed. Extract E, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3, Missions. Let me check something. So you don't see it when you hit um, open scenario? Negative. Hold one. Checking. Uh... Did you oh, there. unzip it into its own folder? Because if you oh maybe in one second I'll tell you. So it should be missions progressive intent dot rushmon and <laughs> then all the files. Yeah, they're all there. Are they under another folder? Negative. Hold right. one. <clears throat> Here you go. Posting S3. Uh, okay, that's not where missions that you're developing go. They go in your no. documents. Oh, well then I'm just being a big dumbass. Give me... Hold one. Fixing my stupidity. 
Uh. Oh god, now I have to find where this is going to go. Uh, will this be under C? This is your documents. Just go to documents. Under C. Documents. Should be on the. Uh, should be on the left. Yeah, armor three other profiles. Got it. Thank you. There you Got it. I'm in. Okay. All right. So, um, this was a pretty quickly made mission, and that's what a live is really good for. Um, you can make a straightforward objective. A live is really good for filling it with enemies. All right. So, if we look to the uh, right side of the base here, um, we got a live required, which is pretty obvious. You gotta have it. Uh, and then we have civilian placement and civilian population. They are linked um, by the connection, right? You connect, sync to, and sync to each other. So let's see what's going on in here. Um, in civilian placement, um, TAOR marker. TAORs are basically where you want this placement thing to be active. Uh, if it's blank, it's gonna be whole map, and that's the case here. And then you got the blacklist marker TARB for blue 4. So this is the marker that is this one. It's over the blue base. So it's saying don't spawn civilians in the blue base, in this marker basically. And they can force the faction of uh, what, uh, what civilians you want to spawn. So how do you find the faction of something? Um, you can do this. Say so you put down a uh, civvy. Make sure you select it, and then in the debug console, you do this. Faction, get Eden selected, object, uh, select zero. So you can see here, the faction name is CFP Civ Afghan. So I'll put that in S3. I'm right. sorry, I just want to ask one more time. How did you pull up all that uh, stuff in the execute? This is Tools Debug Console um, with okay. CBA active. It's Control D. Control D, Roger. Right. So obviously this works for other things too. So if I select a Blue Four unit, uh, it's going to tell me faction is Afghan Army. If I select one of our spawn guys, it's going to tell me faction of what I selected is Blue Four NATO. All right. So back to the. Uh -huh. Uh, I just kind of like, I, I just really, you just went really too fast. Um, when you select, how do you select, okay, when you select it, the civilian, what do you do with it? Press of what buttons or? Go to tools, debug console, or control D. Mm -hmm. Type into one of the watch fields, faction, mm -hmm. well, the stuff I pasted. And then below it, you should get the evaluated result. Um, CFP C Afghan. Oh, are you guys getting audio twice? Because you're watching. Negative. Uh, I muted. I, I I we did, but I mu I muted it. Okay, cool. Select it and then object. Hmm. Just take the whole string. In uh in the code box and uh, put zero it. apostrophes. Don't type it. Copy paste. It doesn't show, that's why. What do you mean it doesn't show? Uh, you may show? be clicking into one of the black fields, you have to click the white field above it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's racist. Are you guys both getting factions? Affirm. Because when I pull out the debug, it's basically... The watch is, is blank. On my yeah, it should be. You're pasting into the watch. Okay. And then it will auto-populate the information you're requesting. Yeah, basically watch is keep evaluating this code and give me what it tells me. <coughs> I 
So Reese, you got faction Rios. I have faction get three selected object uh, you... pound zero, and I have CFP B army F army. Okay, good. Rios, you getting things? Nothing. Okay, so highlight the code I put in S3 operations, copy it, click into the watch field, and paste. Oh, I was using the the swirly brackets, not no swirly print parentheses, not the not the parentheses. Why? Yeah, why? You should just be copying it, bro. Yeah. Alright, I was typing it out. Alright. So that's how we get the faction names of things. Uh, that's very important in using a live. So back to civilian placement. Um, objective size filter, basically how big a town or a group of buildings is. Um, you can tell it's the only, you know, target small ones or big ones or whatever combination. Um, priority is something that's like a, a live black box. Um, you can think of it as like uh, a power plant is higher priority than a fishing village. Reese, can you uh, turn on push to talk? Sure, sir. Thanks. Um, and then placement level is how how many sieves to to place exactly. Uh, vehicles seem similar. All right. So most of the time, you'll be using these two civilian modules together and synced. So in civilian population. You can set the spawn radius for players on foot, in helicopter, in planes, um, how they behave to the three main factions, roles is um, how they behave over the course of the day, like do they go to a nearby mosque or into something like that. Um, crowd limit defaults to 50. Uh, I've seen it get really out of hand, so and I'm not sure how exactly to use it yet. Um, sending it to zero still like in Fallujah and in one of the cities on this map I've had like two kilometer radius full of civvies like 200 or something and I've like just frantically deleting it in Zeus um, so <laughs> people don't lag out but anyway um, I don't know if it if you saw anything like that with set at one. Uh, I seem to be having pretty decent success with it. So crowd limit uh, set to one for now. <laughs> All right, moving on to the enemies, which is the actual fun part. So something else you need besides the alive required is a live virtual AI system. This is um, the key to basically alive maintaining the AI group's presence without having it spawned. So it despawns them, it tracks where they are, what they would do if they were spawned. Um, they follow waypoints, they have orders, they fight, have combat, and then when players get near it respawns them, right? So um, this one, I have it set to um, only virtualized synced units. So all of these synced units you see um, synced to the module, I'm placing an editor but Alive is going to take them over, uh, virtualize them, despawn them, and spawn them back when players get near. So you can have your custom um, unit placement and still benefit from Alive's performance um, bonuses. And that's just by syncing the virtual AI system to the group that you place? Yes. Of course, there are other settings here. So you can tell it to virtualize all editor placed units except sync units. So you could just sync the, um, uh, the spawn blue four units and let it automatically grab everything else. So it's basically, you know, a blacklist or a whitelist. So you, can, you have choices here. Um, spawn radius, if you have a group or the terrain, you know, is such that you're all, uh, usually going to encounter enemies at a larger range, you can bump this up. Obviously that means more AI will be spawned, so slightly worse performance. 
Um, the other one's stuff are pretty okay. I haven't found the need to modify them. Uh, may I put one input about the spawn radius? Yeah, sure. A Zeus is considered as a he heli helo, so it spawns everything. It spawns everything as a helicopter would. Right. So <laughs> when you you are Zeus and you go ahead of them, you will spawn, cause units to spawn ahead of you, or where you are. Oh, uh, this is why headless clients are over here, off the map, because there are also players. If your base is in Doshad Airport and you leave the headless clients here, there's always going to be a base, uh, a player here, and all of the civvies here will be spawned, and they won't despawn. So, uh, yeah, move the headless clients out of the map. Um, having the Zeus spawn things is nice because you can, you know, go ahead of the convoy to the where they're headed, get everything spawned, and um, you know not have have less things that uh, go out of your expectation because you can preview, right? Uh, okay, so virtual AI system. Now we're talking about the um, op four TAR. So what have I got here? Uh, I've got a military placement uh, on civilian objectives. So it's using the TAR op four. Um, it's placing them in civilian objectives, so towns, power plants, whatever, things that are civilian as opposed to military. Uh, again, objective filters on size and priority. Um, this is, I think place units means, obviously place units, but objectives only means um, it's telling the military AI commander to consider these objectives as part of their uh, their tasking. Um, that's a little more high level. Uh, I'm not really sure about it yet. But anyway, moving on. Force size. This is basically how much stuff you want. Um, roughly 200 uh, is pretty dense for for this area. I mean. If you're considering the towns, there's like what five, six towns, villages, so 200 split roughly around around them, right? So that's uh, a few dozen per uh, settlement. Waiting. I mean, you guys can also just explore these, but yeah, it's what kind of forces you want. Readiness. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Um, it's possibly like. Who are on patrol and who are just you know in uh, in buildings? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just noticed that uh, basically, basically whatever you put as like say for the company size, if you put twenty five percent of readiness, it's gonna be twenty five percent of that company size of group. That's that's what it is. I uh, mean, like initially available or yes, initially available, and then you know when the AI commander is there, I'll. They'll start spawning more units from that company's, you know, from that company size pool. Okay. Yeah. Roblox, self-explanatory. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, you will most likely need to force the faction because uh, where's the actual faction? I can't find it. But anyway, yeah, same thing. You just place down some guys, Taliban guy here, Whoop. and you can see his faction is CFE op for Taliban. All right, so that filled the civilian areas. Uh, and then I got one here for military targets, military objectives. So they're both placing military units, but one of them is on civilian objectives, the other one's on military objectives. So similar setup. Um, this one has options to create HQ, where you place that um, that module, um, it'll put like a tent in some buildings and stuff, uh, and consider it, um, and put some units there, right? And then finally, I got a custom objective. Uh, I'm not sure if this one worked out, uh, but it. I'm pretty sure it did place some buildings there, and yeah. 
So this is how you make, you're supposed to make, um, you know, if it's an empty section of the map, but you want it to be a strategic location, you use this to indicate it to alive and the military AI commander. <clears throat> and they'll try to defend or attack or whatever. All right. Um, and then you'll notice all of these placement modules are synced to military AI commander. This is the commander for the Taliban. Um, you can set what kind of uh, what kind of operational mode they're on, invasion, occupation. Asymmetric is for like insurgency type things. Um, yeah, you can use multiple uh, factions. So if you wanted uh, Taliban and ISIS to work together, you do something like uh, do, 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 do. So ISIS is CFPOIS, okay. And come in here, comma, and just paste it in. And then you can also do like, you know, have them spawn multiple factions. So if I test play this, we should see both Taliban and IS um, units being spawned in this uh, area. Um, right, and then, so the most important parts are um, alive required, military AI commander, and a placement module. <clears throat> oh crap, again, I keep forgetting I'm push talk. Uh, if you could go back just a moment there for the faction part. Yeah. That you just said it in. Right. So, um, so I was like, okay, this is Taliban. I wanted to add, um, IS. So I put down a unit from IS, um, you know, and then selected him, use my code to find the faction name. Mm -hmm. And then went into the military AI commander module. And uh, in override factions, I put CFPO Taliban, comma CFPO IS. So now if I um, play tests. So we'll control both with the one military commander? Correct, yeah. Okay. I just noticed one thing right now. You put faction none on the AI commander. Yes, because I'm forcing faction in the text field. Oh, okay, that that was my issue with with some a couple of the alive missions because <laughs> I have it as NATO C so, because uh, that was like you know as part of those. Mm -hmm. So each com uh, each commander should only have factions of one of each of one side of a single side. Okay. Uh, okay, shit. now I know something's complaining. All right. There are no groups for opcom factions, CFPO, IS. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some things that aren't very straightforward. Uh, you might have to mess with it. But um, let's say you were opening up a new, you know, a new template mission, and you wanted to have a zone of bad guys with some, uh, you know, alive spawn enemies. So let's do that. If you wanna, if you guys wanna each open up a version of the template. <clears throat> oh, uh, VR map isn't very good for this, is it? All right. Uh, we'll just that... uh, make a quick copy of it. Uh, let me exit out because I don't have the. I don't have a full. I, don't, I, do, I deleted the folder for Talladega's because I'm working on the other guys. Oh, so give me one second. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to make a copy of the template on uh, Altus. I'll open that up. So, this is just. I'm just doing the steps in the uh, template guide right now.
Alright, move our guys to the terminal. Ugh. Come on. Transform, snap to surface. Alright, so I've got our base at the main airport. <clears throat> Let me know when you guys are set with the uh, template mission. Or, Hold one. Yeah. A copy of the template on whatever map you want. Let's just say Altus, yeah. Probably open up the, um, when the Friday's up. Sure. Yeah. Just, to, just, to, just work that up. I'm going to put this into my working mission for tomorrow. Alright, so um, on the right side we're going to modules, alive modules. Obviously we need alive required. Obviously we need a live virtual AI system. Let's say I wanted to make Athera uh, an enemy control of the town and we're going to have a uh, you know, and AAF uh, battalion holding it. So I'm going to make a marker over Athera. Uh, to, to, to do, draw a rectangle. I'm going to call that marker in the variable name TAOR for tactical area of responsibility. Um, I for independent and then back to alive modules we're going to have an military AI commander they're gonna be faction AAF uh, in fact well let me show you the uh, getting the faction hang so, on hang on hang on so military commander just hang on. sorry you were going a little quick Mm -hmm. So, military AI commander. So right now you should have the three modules. Um, alive required, alive virtual AI system, military AI commander. Right? Yep. And then you just pasted the... I so saw you just pull up the debug thing. What were you doing with the debug? I'm getting the faction name for who I want here. So... Like if it's not one of the default factions. So say I want mm -hmm. um, from CFP the uh, right Boko Haram maybe. So I'm going to place a uh, a unit from Boko Haram, have it selected, open up my code box, and there's the faction name. CFP O Boko Haram. <clears throat> And then I'm putting that faction name into the override factions box of the military AI commander uh, module. And then changing or setting all the factions, like the default factions, uh, to none. And you guys have a marker for the um, TAOR you want this uh, commander to control? Yep, I yep, have that. Just, uh, that. So, even uh, even if faction is set to NATO, if you're using Red Four, it won't matter. No, set those to none. Set all the pre-selectable drop downs to none when you're forcing factions. If I'm. All right, so let's. Uh, so Justin, like I wanted to use two different groups, like you said. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, let's say I wanted to use the. Uh, Chinara Russian movement Red Star guys and also uh, Spetsnaz. Right. So you'd get a Red Star guy, plop him down. Um, looks like they are Cup O Check Discs, whatever. So then in the Military AI Commander, you would put both faction names separated by a comma. All right. With or without spaces in between. I don't think it matters, but no space. I 
So I have my two different groups set. Okay. So I, I think with the warning message I got last time was that um, each military place or each placement module can only have one faction possibly. Um, let me investigate this. So we're going to alive modules, um, military placement. Let's do civilian objectives. Plop it down next to the military AI commander. Open it up. Um, yeah, force faction, singular. So we're gonna do uh, your first faction in this one. Um, put the TAOR marker box as TAOR, that's the name of your marker that you placed. I'm going to change mine to TRO because uh, you guys probably do have it. And then I'm going to sync that military placement module to the military AI commander. Hang on, so uh, the one I listed, the TAOR, I have is I. Oh, you just changed it to O? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just uh, as long as it matches, it's fine. Um, of course, making it make sense probably makes it easier to work with. And I'm sorry, I'm just the objective doesn't matter for the size of the stuff, does it? What do you mean? Uh, so like the force size? Force size is how uh, how many bad guys you want in this area. In this, well, for the civilian objective, would that be for civilians? No. Uh, so there's three military placement uh, modules. The civilian objectives is for like houses, towns, things that aren't like military bases. Military objectives is for those military bases. Um, you know, Alive knows what's on the map and classifies it as military or civilian. Roger, so you, link, let's say you sync the military commander to uh, the uh, military civilian objective? Correct. So uh, I hope your area that you've got the marker over has both civilian and military objectives. That's why I picked uh, Athera because it's got that uh, little military base. Uh, I'm on Shinaris, so I can make it work. Yeah, so just expand it. Forgot. Uh, you sync the commander to the placement, or the placement to the commander? I don't think it really matters. Okay. All right. So after that. We've got a civilian um, placement, or sorry, military placement on civilian objectives. Now we're going to put a military placement on military objectives. And uh, let's put this as our second faction. And um, we'll turn this one, I'm going to turn this one down to like a platoon, the force size. Uh, TAR marker is still going to be the same. And also synced to Military AI Commander. Now, does it matter which way you sync it? It shouldn't, no. <laughs> and we're not changing any of the parameters for the military objective? Um... No. Oh, okay, so let's open up the military AI commander. The control type, like if we're, um, you know, attacking, then you probably want it on op occupation. If you want um, a lot of enemy movement, you can put it on invasion. Um, for that to work though, so let's do that. Let's have it on invasion. For that to work though, you need it to be attacking something. And uh, how you do that is you need an opposing factions placement module. So let's put a area marker over our base and call it TARB and uh, we'll make a blue four set of objectives 
for um, for that invasion commander to attack. So we're going to place a another um, military placement module, a military objective one. This one is going to be T A O R B. Um, Force faction is going to be. Uh, I, let's see. Oh, just blue F. Okay. Blue F. Do do. Hang on, I'm trying to make more of these rectangles. Mm hmm. And all of these modules have a debug option, uh, so you can you can enable debug and see what it's doing, or have it tell you what it's doing. All right, so the civilian objective should match. Like, let's say I wanted the civilian objective to be where the bad guys are attacking. So I would set the civilian objective to the uh, field or the rectangle that was going to, like, let's say I had it over Cherno. So I set one over Cherno, and I set the civilian objective to, ch to Cherno. Do I also set the military objective to Cherno? Are you talking about the placement modules? Uh, yes. Okay. If you put the area name in the placement module, that is where it's going to spawn um, units. In the variable name? Or just the tour marker? So I just want to make sure I'm looking at the okay. right thing. Okay. So, T-A-O-R-O your op for TAR should be where those units are going to spawn. Okay. Yeah. If you have a place where you want them to invade towards, that should be a different TAR. Okay. So I can have two overlapping TAORs basically. You can, yeah. All right, so I've got a TORB, and I've got a placement module, uh, blue four one, for that TOR. You guys have that? Yep. I'm gonna have to make a third one. Yeah. So we got two op four TORs, or uh, two op four placement modules, all uh, both of them using TORO, and we've got a third placement module for blue four, using TORB. I'm going to enable debug on the um, up for military AI commander module so we can see what it's doing. And then once you have your blue four placement module, we're gonna sync it to the op four military AI commander. So now the AI commander has three placement modules synced to it. Two of them are its own, um, the op four ones, and one of them is the blue four one. So it's set to invasion, so it will attack the synced enemy area, being the blue four. Uh, placement module and the TAOR that is associated with it. Alright, hang on. 
This is entirely my fault, but I am getting a little bit lost. So. The TAORO, which I am using for uh, the... Where the thriller. bad guys start. Okay. So, I'm going to use TAORR for red for, for where the bad guys start. So I'm linking the uh, military commander for the red four to that area, yes? Not to the area, to the placement module associated with the area. Okay. Okay. Uh, so could you zoom up, in on that so that way? Right. So bottom up, you have two areas, right? You have the bad guy area and the good good guy area. Correct. The bad guy area is called T A O R R, and that yep. name is used in the T A O R marker field of the bad guy spawn placement modules. Roger. All right. So the marker variable name is or the rectangle whatever it is variable name is oh mm -hmm. never mind uh is in the tar on. marker field and then oh hang on do you do that through debug for the rectangle no you just open it up okay i'm sorry i was okay so the civilian marker or fuck me the military objective in the tour marker will also be labeled there okay yeah. And then the blue four area's name is referenced in the blue four placement module. Actually, I haven't done that, so let me do that. Yeah, so that's another military AI commander? Uh, you can, but you don't, not necessarily. You don't have to have the defending guy have a, a commander. The military AI commander is only if you want it to shift forces around. Like, give strategic orders to the groups. So let's just work with one military AI commander right now. Like if you weren't um, expecting to have significant friendly forces, it was just uh, just us, right? Uh, it could, there could be friendly forces. Some doesn't have to be significant. Right, so or... let's make it, keep it simple for now. Sure. So you have um, two areas, three placement modules, all of which are synced to the OP4 military AI commander. Uh, right now I have three areas, one for blue four, one for red four, and then one for civilians. I have... Just ignore the, the civilians for now. Okay, deleting civilians for now. And then you have how many placement modules? The civilian and the one military, so I'm short one. Both of those are op for, right? Uh They're both military placement modules for op for, one of which is on civilian objectives and the other one's on military objectives. That is a affirmative. Okay. So now make a placement module for blue four. Um you know, either civilian or military objective, depending on where your blue four area is. Okay, so if it's going to be in Cherno, it should probably be civilian. Yeah. Does that mean I should flip the other one from military to uh, civilian for the red four? Does your red four area have both military and civilian things? Uh, probably not if it's Cherno. So, yes, I should change it too. I mean, what I'm trying to illustrate is if you choose an area that has both of those, you can see that it's distinguishing between them. So All just right. expand your your area until it's got both civilian and military things in it. All right, and then all three placement modules are synced to the military AI commander module, which is set to invasion and is up for. 
So I think that should be it. So let's play test. And test it ahead. Mm hmm. And basically, it, it just keep trying to filter through every, basically, go through every single thing. And it went through, basically. Is the units are... up for attacking? No, they were not attacking. For a second. I got lost. You said for a second, so are they attacking or not? Um, running it again. Because I realize um, they're spawning the wrong... Oh. Vehicles just blew up. Alright, Ruiz, where are you now? Um, I can't find a legitimate military base uh, near Cherno close enough that I can have it within a reasonable uh, area. So I just switched it over to a civilian objective. Alright. They're moving in. They are moving in. Alright. Okay, so my civilian objective military is with the TAOR marker, TAORR. The area in which it is sitting in, the rectangle, has been named TAORR. And then for the blue four, I'm putting down another one. Civilian objective. Now, if I want them to battle over the same space, I can just put both of them over on top of each other, right? They would be spawning there. If you want them okay. to battle over the same space, you should set their spawns where they're going to spawn, and then have them go to objectives in where you want them to fight okay so then that's gonna take another second to set up okay so that sets a TORB that sets a TORB Alright, uh, lastly, if I have two civilian objectives because they're both going to be going to Cherno, they're spawning near civilian areas, is the factory considered military? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to assume no. Alright, so I have a civilian for blue poor, I have a civilian for red four, but I still have the one military objective that you had me that you had us place in the beginning. Would I also have to change that to civilian if I didn't have any military thing or yeah, I would have to, of course. Well, just leave it, and if it can't find any military things, it won't spawn anything. Okay. Uh I have that as T A O R O uh for that one. If so, there isn't a marker named T-A-R-O, then you should change it to a marker that exists. Okay, so I'll just change it to T-O-R-R.
All right, and I synced the civilian objective blue four to the AI military commander, yes? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. The AI are, are using that, um, laying down where they are with a launcher. Oh, really? <laughs> I just saw one, I just saw one of them, one of the FIA enemies, FIA, just lay down with the RPG. Hold, you know, while holding the RPG. <laughs> and do you and start... to... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, what did you say I had to place down objectives? Uh, for them to attack, like... That, I've had them that's spawning the two blue... sets. Just start it. For now. So you have the um, up fours spawning in those in your up four area, and yep. its military AI commander wants to attack that blue four spawn, so they're gonna send the forces over. That's what we're trying okay. to observe. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh wait, I didn't grab a unit from Blue 4 to set for the thing. And how do I designate one as Blue 4? Designate what is Blue 4? Uh, so I know one of the sides is Red 4, that's done through the uh... The placement module for the Blue 4 area should have a Blue 4 faction indicated in it. The military placement one? Whichever one is associated with the Blue 4 area. Yes. Oh, it's the force faction. All right, Rios, any questions? Oh, I'm just actually, now I'm understanding a bit better now. Because the way I had it was a far bit different. And then I just gave up and just simply placed units, sync them to the thing, call it good. Because mm -hmm. I had the military, military commander all wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and... looking at my setup, the troops that were spawned by the factory appears to be the military mm -hmm. objective, so it does seem to consider the factory a military objective. Alright, and again, I just want to make sure that force faction down at the end of the military placement civilian objective should be the faction of the place that I want, yeah? Or the faction of the people that I want? The, it's a faction of the people you want. Okay, so I want the U.S. Army uh, woodland camo, so it's RHS faction U.S. Army underscore WD. And that's Something what like I have it. under Force Faction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically, so just remember we, for? the debug, select the unit, select, and spawn the unit, select it, and then Control D just to see what what trait is, uh, what faction it is, and then just copy and paste. If, what about the override for the mil AI military commander? Do I have to add the blue four to that too? Mm, nope. Only factions from one side should be in one military AI commander. Okay. But I can have... Multiple both. AI commander modules. So you, should I have two separate ones? Like I said earlier, you can, but right now let's just observe, just observe one first. Okay.
Alright, I'm gonna... Ooh. And for a second look at the AI, AI with AT. See if they're laying down with the RBG. Because I've seen a couple of them doing that. And then for some reason, I just noticed that I was just using the Talonegus. And I just noticed that some of them are just pulling out their Binox. Yeah, a lot of them it's... like to do that. Yeah. I'm a sh I am I think, it's, is it just because the high priority using Binox over weapons or what? Not really sure. Something to do with AIs. Oh jeez, I'm getting like I... a huge wall of shit. There's no groups for opcom factions. Does that just mean it's fucked? Not entirely. Alright, I'm, I'm ending the stream. You can rewatch it and uh, follow along again, I guess.